Hey, this is Mike. I uh, just want to show you what a 2015 Jeep Cherokee looks like at nighttime, just so you can see what the lights look like. We've got like a parking light here. A lot of people mistake these lights here, these long cat eye look looking lights here in the front, as the headlights. Those are actually not the headlights, but like a parking light. The actual headlights are below, which I'll go ahead and turn, turn those on right now. And um, go ahead and turn them on. Okay. All right. So there's the headlights right there below. They're projector headlights. And then you've got the parking lights there. Now this one has the fog lights, which let me go ahead and turn those on, so you can see what they look like. All right. So all the lights are on in the front now. And you see it has the headlights, the fog lights, and those side markers. It's kind of like a stack of lights there. And let's go ahead and go to the back real fast. See what it looks like back here. Now these are all LED lights back here in a circle. And you got the license plate lights. Now let me go ahead and turn the turn signal on so you can see what that looks like. That's there in the front. Let's look in the back. Very bright. Okay. So there's no like rear view mirror lights or anything like that here on the side. There's no real side markers. It's just these here then around to the side there. All right, so let's go ahead and go on the interior of the vehicle. I guess I'll start with the tailgate. This has a, this one has the auto lift automatic tailgate but when it lifts up you've got these lights back here that kind of illuminate this whole area it's kind of hard to tell because I'm actually at a dealership so I don't if I had a place was like pitch black it might be more revealing on how far those lights go out but back here you've got some side lights here and here there's no dome light back here but those side lights are pretty they work pretty good. I mean, you see pretty good, especially when you consider you got these here. Um, they kind of, you know, give you some extra light around the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and close it down. All right, let's look here in the back seat, see what we see. And uh, not seeing any ambient light here in the door. But we do have some that dome light here that works pretty good for illuminating the back seats. No floor lights. Um, the back lights are still on. Back there, so you got some illumination up there on the, the ceiling that's kind of filling the area. All right, so all these are backlit. These switches here, and that one is lit up when you push it. Otherwise, it doesn't look like it's backlit there. So, got a little bit of. There's the fuel cap. A little bit of a little, uh, ambient light here for the pocket for the driver. <coughs> Floorboards are lit up pretty good. These are lit up pretty good. Get and hop in and shut the door. All right, so I wish it was a little bit darker, but I think you can see the illumination here on the steering wheel on the video it has just a little bit of illumination to where it looks really cool, but it's not too bright. Doesn't look like it's going to bother you at nighttime. 
I'm gonna just kind of scroll this this um, okay so I can make it brighter or dimmer the dimmer switch here but it doesn't yeah I guess it does appear to adjust the ambient light in the steer the back light on the steering wheel as well as on the side here yeah seems like it adjusts all that stuff that's pretty neat even the cup holders are adjusted it kind of looks like Tron over here but um, let me go ahead and put it on full blast so you can see so here's your interior gauges and you see the lights here in the steering wheel and then you've got this big screen which is very bright and then these are all very bright backlit color coded and really kind of futuristic looking I guess and then you got your inputs there that are eliminated and this key tag's getting in the way of that but there's your there's your shifter there's the parking brake which is on and then the cup holders are illuminated Let's see if there's any illumination here oh, phone's ringing let me turn that off sorry Let's see if I can all right there we go but uh, let me open this up and then here you've got a USB port and a power supply, and those are both illuminated in that pocket, which is pretty cool. Glove compartment. Yeah, this really illuminated, and it's really big. Now the floorboard looks like there's, yeah, there's some illumination down there. It's kind of hard to tell because I've got some those pole lights, but yeah, looks like, um, I guess see, see if you can see that. You see, see that paper? You can, that kind of gives it away, the slight illumination that's in the floorboard. Up here you've got the rear, the rear view mirror has some buttons that are lit up and then you got some buttons here that are lit up. You can turn those on. Nothing in there. And the garage door controls are lit up. That's pretty neat, I didn't expect that mirror has very bright lights same thing on that side those you tap them and turn them on but anyway I think you get the idea it's pretty neat um, the way that, I really like the, the the backlit buttons are really just really something that I, I think is cool but anyway um, I think I covered everything except for like the reverse light, the backup lights, stuff like that. Um, can't really do that right now. I don't have anybody to help me do that. But anyways, um, I think I got over most of them. And uh, so if you have any questions or anything or if you want me to cover something more, or if there's anything you want to point out, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.